accounting test questions and answers that may help you in your studies, but please do your own research to confirm these answers as these are merely suggestions, and you ultimately responsible for confirming these answers for yourself. Let's get started with the first question. 1. Business transactions and events are the starting points of financial statements. Answer. True. Number 2. Preparation of a trial balance is the first step in processing a financial transaction. Answer. False. Number 3. Source documents identify and describe transactions and events entering the accounting process. Answer. True. Number 4. Items such as sales receipts, bank statements, checks, and purchase orders are examples of a business's source documents. Answer. True. Number 5. An account is a record of increases and decreases in a specific asset, liability, equity, revenue, or expense item. Answer. True. Number 6. A customer's promise to pay on credit is classified as an account payable by the seller. Answer. False. Number 7. Withdrawals by the owner are a business expense. Answer. False. Number 8. The purchase of land and buildings will generally be recorded in the same ledger account. Answer. False. Number 9. Unearned revenues are classified as liabilities. Answer. True. Number 10. Cash withdrawn by the owner for personal expenses should be treated as an expense of the business. Answer. False. Number 11. When a company provides services for which cash will not be received until some future date, the company should record the amount billed as accounts receivable. Answer. True. Number 12. Owner withdrawals always decrease equity. Answer. True. Number 13. Expenses always decrease equity. Answer. True. Number 14. Revenues always increase equity. Answer. True. Number 15. Owner investments always decrease equity. Answer. False. Number 16. Unearned revenue is a liability that is settled in the future when a company delivers its products or services. Answer. True. Number 17. A company's chart of accounts is a list of all the accounts used and includes an identification number assigned to each account. Answer. True. Number 18. An account's balance is the difference between the total debits and total credits for the account, including any beginning balance. Answer. True. Number 19. The right side of an account is called the debit side. Answer. False. Number 20. In a double entry accounting system, total debits must equal total credits for all entries, and total debit account balances in the ledger must equal total credit account balances. Answer. True. Number 21. Increases in liability accounts are recorded as debits. Answer. False. Number 22. Debits increase asset and expense accounts. Answer. True. Number 23. Credits always increase account balances. Answer. False. Number 24. An expense account normally has a credit balance. Answer. False. Number 25. A revenue account normally has a debit balance. Answer. False. Number 26. Asset accounts are decreased by debits. Answer. False. Number 27. Debit means increase, and credit means decrease for all accounts. Answer. False. Number 28. Asset accounts normally have debit balances, and revenue accounts normally have credit balances. Answer. True. Number 29. An owner's withdrawal account normally has a debit balance. Answer. True. Number 30. A debit entry always increases an account. Answer. False.